It is 10, 15 a.m. It is the 14th of June. There's so many things that have gone on. I can't even remember them all. I tried to write them down. I just wanted to have a record of at least some of the stuff. So last week on Friday, uh, I went to my orientation for UMass. I am enrolled for philosophy. I got, I got like, there was a lot of good news and there was also bad news. Like pretty much all of my credits from the Art Institute of Philadelphia uh, would not transfer. They tried to give me some like, almost like a concession or like a pity credits or whatever, but it was like for English, but I still would have had to take English anyway. And I was like, look, I still, I think I'd rather just take the English 101 because it's freaking easy. So I'd rather just do that. I am currently enrolled in three classes and I want to get like a video class because the video class for me, um, uh, ties into my other degree and it's for Final Cut Pro. And uh, I'm just still waiting on the permission to get that. Like I got the permission several times already, but there was a hold on my account, so I couldn't do it because they screwed up and they botched my stuff. They also botched my ID, so I had to go back and redo it because my name here, I'm using my birth name. And I'm also, in my art, I'm also going back to my birth name. I'm not using my spouse's name at all. And uh, for my degree, that's what I want. Uh, we've t t discussed this with my spouse. He's totally fine with it. And um, so I put it on here. They put my married name on there, which I have never actually legally changed my name to anything. So um, I'm doing that. And there's that. Um, there's always some freaking setback. I I'm so fed up with it. I'm so fed up with it, but there's just nothing I can do about it. Now I do have a work study thing. I'm trying to work out the date to do um, the interview. I'm also having like a major explosion of freaking acne. Like it's just when my skin was just finally starting to heal and I was starting to look like a normal person because I kept getting it like right around here for some reason and I thought like well, am I not washing enough I should wash more and at first I thought oh it's working no it, it wasn't really doing anything and um, <laughs> it's just washing is a good idea but um I was already washing and then I washed more it didn't really change it whatever but for whatever reason um it just started to heal up a bit and I think uh there's a few reasons why that is. I know I started to have this issue really bad when I worked at Jiffy Lube last year, but I think it might also be related to certain things I'm eating, various additives, which I believe are just unnatural and I shouldn't be eating. But also I th I'm thinking, um, because I really like certain Mexican things and I like to eat guacamole and I like to eat salsa. And the Trader Joe's uh, products have become pro progressively, incrementally um, spicier over the years. Every year it seems to get like hotter and hotter. And um, there are salsas now that say that they're mild and kids cannot eat them. Okay, so uh, I did eat a whole bunch of salsa. Uh, or not a whole bunch, but several sco spoonfuls of it. I made like a salsa chicken. And around somewhere after that, that was when I had like a huge, and it was like bumpy and red and everything all over my face, my neck, my chest, my ears got like zits. So I'm thinking that's it. I'm, I also had issues um, with some of the guacamole. Guacamole generally for me like fixes a lot of problems. Like guacamole especially fixes like digestive problems. But um... <laughs> There is a spicy one that they have. They call it chunky spicy or something. And that was my favorite one. When they first started making that, it was not that spicy. Now it's like incredibly spicy. And I have gotten gigantic, huge sized hemorrhoids because of the spice in it. So I've been trying to cut down on everything that's like really hot. I, I actually can't handle things that are too hot anyway. But, uh... I have eaten things I probably shouldn't have eaten. Um, usually when it comes to spicy things or especially with acidic things, because I like to eat acidic things, um, it can bother my stomach or my digestive system. I have IBS. But I also noticed in the past that if I, in the winter especially, if I ate too much ginger, ginger I could get breakouts. Um, those are what you call warming spices. Also uh, certain black pepper. Whew. Uh, 
So um, I, I really can't handle most because my spouse eats just ridiculously spicy things and I cannot handle that at all. But uh, Mexican food seems to make things taste in a way that like I'll kind of like it's just so good that like even though it's painful, like I'm like, oh, I love this. <laughs> but um, so I'm trying to be more, you know, mindful of that. Um, what else? Uh, also, when I went to orientation, I had a migraine. I had a splitting headache. And um, when I first went there, uh, I, I was very, you know, social and bubbly. And I had, like, my makeup done and all that stuff. Uh, there was something – I'm really sure there was just something in the food I was reacting to. Because I've been going to the gym a lot, and I'm having ma major results already. And um, I'm probably going to go today. And then I went from, like, looking – because I've been definitely shaping, getting a lot more shapely, like, look, I have a, an arm, right? And then I, like, puffed up, and my photo ID, like, my photo ID is like that, like, what? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> whatever. Um, and then when I got the bat, like, I was very helpful, friendly, I'm very social, it's how I really am. And then when I got the bad news, I, about my credits, because my audit wasn't even done. So it just so happened that this chick sat next to me who was like this head honcho. And she talked to me about my experience. I was like, I don't know anything about my credits. I still don't, haven't been able to pick my classes, blah, blah, blah. Then she ran off to go fix that. And she came back and actually brought me the actual copy of the transcript that the, with full details. And she's like, yeah, we can't, uh, you, you're not getting any credits. So even though I'm technically a transfer student and I have a degree, I have to start all over like a freaking freshman. I'm not even a freshman. Okay. What the fuck? So I'm looking at about five years. So I, I've also gone through like just extreme emotions because uh, I'm at, sometimes at odds with things because like, I really love philosophy. <clears throat> I live philosophy. I'm always learning philosophy. It's just something I always do, but I'm also an artist. <laughs> And I've had like fights and things and arguments with my spouse about this because he's getting a degree at the same freaking school in art. Um, but I have a lot of options and whatever. I've considered things like double majors, um, minors, things like that. But um, I've also I I I also found out this this is the thing I'm kind of annoyed about is because my credits didn't transfer. I have to take math. But I don't have to take it until I freaking feel like it. So I didn't take any math classes. Yay, because that'll just wreck my GPA. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to hold off on math until like I, I don't, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> Unless I have to do it, which will probably be years from now because I'm horrible at it. I'm dyslexic and I'm really slow at it. Uh, um, so I almost took... German because I don't have to take math, but I uh, right now I just have the three classes and I want the fourth which is the video class And I'm just I just want to I need to get into it. I need to get used to it. My lungs are much better um, They're not perfect yet, but um, I'm definitely increasing the strength of my lungs. I've been doing exercises I want to be able to work to ride my bike by the end of this month which I'm actually nervous about trying today. I don't know if I want to try this week or next week and see how it goes. But I am going to go to the gym. Um, I'm trying so hard to be more mindful of my posture. I'm having all kinds of spinal things happening. Uh, I went to the um, chiropractor yesterday and I only have about four more visits left for the rest of the year. Uh, it always seems to happen that when I go there, all of a sudden, like, I have to carry something or go do some labor or the rain happens, and then all those beautifully moved and adjusted bones just shift back into the wrong spot way too early before they've had a chance to set, and as many times as I've tried to explain this to Mr. Wong, he's still just, like, the I don't know what's wrong with him sometimes, okay? Uh, the weather is just all over the place, warm, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, middle, what, like several weathers in different spots of the sky. I, um, not only that, but the plants are confused. And if you follow me on like Snapchat and I'm, I might have even put it on Instagram. And if I haven't, I'm going to, to probably do that today or this week or whenever I have a chance to. But um, many of the, tr the trees and the plants um, have the pigments in them, like, like in the fall. 
because because it keeps getting dark, like really dark, even though it's like almost solstice, uh, the summer solstice, right? <clears throat> Even, and uh, so they'll turn red and orange and yellow, or more orange and red. And I'm when I walk around here, because I, I walk around all over the place now, like I need to go be in nature all the time. And it's pretty good for like my health, for my mental health, my well-being, whatever, as long as it's not raining. Uh, and as long as I'm not getting sunburned. Um, <clears throat> I oftentimes have to take an umbrella with me for two reasons. A, so I don't get a sunburn, and B, in case it rains. And yeah, I also had a, a just broken umbrella because the wind is so severe. <clears throat> we have conflicting um, wind patterns. So I monitor, I monitor the satellite, uh, the, the like Doppler radar and all that stuff, the weather satellite stuff through my phone. And um, yeah, there's like competing winds because it seems like it's trying to regulate itself out i'm guessing it must be really extremely hot more south and it just it seems like <clears throat> the pattern is that it's trying to work itself out and trying to cool itself off and i don't know if some of the heat is going up to canada or what but I'm mostly just kind of you know local centric sorry um but anyway, um, going to the gym, I had a lot of results with that. Uh, there's times where I need to like skip a day, but I noticed that a lot of times if I skip a day or if I have a day where I'm just so in pain, like because the weather can affect me, um, that by the second day or sometimes it's two days, um, I actually can stay like two hours and do like certain like uh, focus things on certain muscle isolation stuff. And, um, then I started to do more muscle groups, different muscle groups. I found like other things. And, uh, when I work certain stuff, if it hurt, if it wins me, I put it off for a while and I'll try it again later. Or if it like stresses out my spine, I have to let that heal. And spinal pain is really painful and that can take sometimes like a week. Another one is shoulder pain. I get like shoulder uh, pains at time. Uh, I really have to be careful with that. And then once it, it like heals, it's actually stronger. Uh, I also do like uh, when I'm on the treadmill, I do like some boxing kind of stuff, uh, like invisible speed bag type things. It really gets my heart going. And then I, cause I can't run and I can get my heart rate up and I can get more of a workout out of it. So um, it's just incremental little things here and there. And I always know when it's time to, to do another thing because like if I feel bored or if I feel like, oh, when is this going to be over? Then like it's like my mind like has this like meeting or something with itself. And it's like, well, let's do something else or let's make it a little harder or let's, let's try this. And a lot of times I'll go to the gym and be like, I'm just going to do an easy thing today. But then like, if it's just too easy and it's boring, then my mind is like, well, I'll just do this little thing here. And then it ends up being another little thing. And I have to just kind of be careful because if I don't restrain myself too much, I will overdo it. <clears throat> I think another thing I, uh, I don't like about, uh, I don't like that some people do at gyms, which I think people should not do, is gyms should not be a social environment. Like it's not, you're not there to hang out and have fun and chit chat and gossip. I freaking hate that. Uh, for me, it's very much meditative or even like where you can just go into a daydream or whatever. But I very much like to focus on myself and it's like I'm having this relationship with my body. And this to me has always been central importance uh that it's it, that when if anybody talks to me i feel so offended i feel so annoyed i'm like how dare you like interrupt my private time how dare you like interrupt because it's i'm literally to me it's a relationship with my body and myself okay and i'm focusing and i need ultimate concentration because it's you can harm yourself you can i've i've harmed myself um things like that i really can't i can't stand people like i'm like i don't want to be your friend I, okay if it was any other place that's fine 
but not in the gym. Just do, do not talk to me. I am 100% antisocial unless somebody needs help or somebody doesn't understand something. I'm happy. And I mean happy, like I'm very happy to help you if you don't understand something and I happen to know it or if you need you know, some advice or whatever, which even though I'm not supposed to really give advice in the gym at all, but if somebody's like, you know, how does this thing work or what do you think? I can give them my opinion or I can give them some guideline or I could, you know, say, why don't you talk to the front desk? But, and, and that, that's okay. Okay. If it was any other situation, I'm totally a social person, but not at the gym unless you need help. <laughs> That's it. And uh, we still have an issue with people pissing all over the place. Oh, I, went, I finally went to Ikea um, last week. I've been wanting to go to Ikea forever. I finally went first time ever. It's on my Instagram. And um, what else? I got a cheesecake there. It was okay. Um... We also got a whole bunch of like different furniture recently. There's some new chairs here. Um, he got, because there's some college students who are leaving and they were going back to China or wherever other country they're from. And a lot of them are incredibly wealthy. So Mr. Wong got uh, either furniture or items, certain things, either totally free or like dirt cheap. <clears throat> And uh, now Heidi has some new stuff. I think she's still getting a new bed. She also got a new monofin, which is something she's been wanting forever. And she wouldn't shut up about it. So I bought it for her last month, actually. It finally got here in the mail. We just haven't got gone into the um, pool yet. It's basically like a mermaid tail fin, like a flipper. Uh, so she finally got that. And then my brother called me. Fun times. So uh, usually when my brother calls me, it's just he doesn't actually want to chat. He doesn't actually want to talk. He just wants somebody to listen to him. So I was like, oh, do you need a good listener? And he's like, yeah, I need lots of them. And I'm like, all right, because I'm his older sister. So I'm like, all right, fine. I'll listen to your musings and whatever. Um, so I listened to him for like almost two hours. And then towards the end, I guess he felt like, oh, I, I need to let her talk, so I spoke slightly, <clears throat> and I, t I try to talk, talk to him about, like, um, permaculture and things like that. I love permaculture. If I could do permaculture right now, because it is summer, if I could go out, and I still don't understand why there aren't any permaculture communities in my town yet. Um, whatever. As far as my work-study thing, um, that's going to happen. I'm having issues with, like the unemployment stuff like food stamps or whatever like I don't actually get unemployment pay I've never gotten that because my spouse owns a car which is too valuable which doesn't make any sense it's just a way to like fuck you over like ha <laughs> ha and because my car is not like it's an ATM and I can just take money out of it like and then like if you sell the car they're like oh well you have money now so fuck you so, like I'm not playing that game so I need the we need the van so we have the van. It's actually like, it's a type of minivan, only it's a large minivan. <laughs> and, um, whatever. We still have it. We use it. We need it. Um, we're artists. Uh, I'm an artist. And also, um, when I was at orientation, I know I keep like flipping back and forth between topics, right? Uh, when I was at orientation, like I said, I was really in a good mood at first. And when I got the bad news, um, I just was a different person. I just turned introvert right away. Um, also, I'm guessing I must give off some kind of like, like my posture or my body language or my vibe or something. Uh, because nobody would talk to me. After that. <laughs> nobody talked to me after that. Um, I also was really not in the mood to talk to anybody. But if anybody did talk to me, I wouldn't have uh, pushed, pushed them away. There was actually some philosopher uh, majors, but they usually were like uh, a double major or it was a minor or something like that. Uh, they, there was these few other guys who went and started talking about like Islam stuff, like actually Islamist stuff. And I, ha I don't have testicles, so I was like, yeah, I... I don't think I belong in this conversation. So I just was like, all right, I'm over here. Um, if it was a cultural thing, a cultural discussion, that would have been fine. But I just wasn't into the whole 
it's not even worth talking about. Um, because I like a lot, there's so many Middle Eastern and North African and Indonesian cultural things. I love food, culture stuff, but religion things, not, not into it. I just, just certain debates and premises that are just sort of within that thing that just don't make sense outside of the thing. So I was like, mm, no, not interested. <clears throat> so I just stayed out of it. Um, I, I was pretty presumptive stuff, whatever. Um, whatever. Like, okay. I, I'm supposed to be a student and I'm supposed to be like open-minded. I'm supposed to like, you know, I don't, I don't know everything and you know, Socratic and all that, but I could just, there were some things I could just kind of tell that they've kind of already made up their minds about certain stuff and they were just sort of like petting each other over it. And, um, like, for example, like the, the true prophet of God kind of, a, yeah, I'm just not interested, just not interested in this topic. There's like a whole bunch of presumptions in there already. So just, pfft, no. Uh, I got invited to like a pirate Viking thing again down in Pennsylvania. Can't get down there though. I get, I, I appreciate being invited. I have no way of getting down there right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm losing food stamps for July or not, but I have a whole bunch of stuff stocked in case, uh, I'm pretty sure I can make it through if I don't get any food stamps for July. Uh, apparently everybody's going like through like where they're purging out the system and then they're screwing everybody to do this kind of stuff again, like jump through hoops which they do on purpose. They mail stuff late on purpose. They also do it around like three day weekends and stuff like that, like always, or Christmas time or New Year's time, something like that, like a holiday time. They always do that. You think it's an accident? It's not, it's not. They always do that. Uh, and then they screwed up some stuff like, that. well, I think it was a good miscommunication. Uh, for some reason, the office thought that I worked at this one affiliate of another thing, even though I signed some papers or whatever. They never gave me any work. And this was like January, February, and they like yanked me around constantly uh, and never gave me any actual work. They wouldn't call me back or they'd make an appointment to talk to me and never call me. Uh, they Or they'd be like, oh, I'll call you and I'll tell you what time your interview is and never do that. I'd email, 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 no response, I'm just whatever. The turnover rate of a lot of companies is not, is just, anyway, I'm just so fed up with that. So right now that I am officially a philosopher, um, I can be open about things like right now I'm, I, the whole um, situation with California and the vote, the thing, uh, I decided I was gonna stand in solidarity for Bernie Sanders, because I felt like, philosophically, this man would never turn his back on me. So I wasn't going to uh, turn my back on him. And I know a lot of people were confused and stuff, and this just happened. And I said, no, I'm just going to stand in solidarity because I, I can imagine like what it feels like if I was him. And he feels like he's, he's just doing it for, uh, he's standing on principle. And it turns out he, there's actually a lot more to know. There's a lot more things behind the scenes that he knows. And he's playing it quite calculated and correctly. And I've been uncovering a lot of bits of intel that have been re leaking out since Friday. So I'm so glad that I stood up. Because a lot of people were either just really delusioned or, um, or disillusioned or disappointed. And... Um, a lot of people were depressed. There was also like the shooting thing that just happened. And um, I've just seen a lot of people just get really just humbug-ish. Whereas other people just suddenly jumped over because Elizabeth Warren did a thing. There, Okay, that's that's no accident. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for why Obama um, endorsed Clinton. There's a whole bunch of reasons why things are the way they are because he also endorsed sort of publicly uh that he was supportive of bernie sanders to continue what he's doing still because he's still technically running and he's going to have a contested convention he is like well i've spoke with him and he's in the right to do that and he's going to do that 
Uh, he also mentioned some things with actual words like criminal investigation and equal under equal treatment under the law regarding Clinton. So um, uh, Bernie has also not been attacking Clinton over certain things, which a lot of people are not happy about. They think that he should have called her out on it. But uh, the reason from what it looks like, based on what I've been digging up and stumbling into, is that is probably a good idea because he needs to not say too much about that because she's it it does look like she is going to trial and being indicted and serve jail time and I don't think he wants to go on trial if he says anything that he knows which he's not supposed to know because there's things in that that she's not supposed to know because they don't officially exist that got breached and leaked and compromise security etc um that could implicate him if he if he spoke or said something so yeah you don't want sanders to go to trial either so um there's also he he's a very polite person he doesn't like to play dirty politics um he'll stand up for something if something is completely wrong he will just say so but um even though he has said things that, like that he didn't like about her like the kissinger thing and a few other things um I, I was happy he did that uh but it was more uh his it was opinion based like i don't i don't like kissinger and here's why and this is my principle on it and so, uh, so i'm really glad i did that i'm really glad i stuck to it it's really hard i've many times stood up for a lot of things on principle and completely alone, cold and alone in the wilderness, cold and alone in the wilderness, including things like um, certain endangered species. Uh, I stood up uh, to, um, because I, I believe that we should, um, you know, try and protect certain endangered species like the, the Florida, Florida panther, which is a type of mountain lion. Uh, there is right now a rhinoceros that is extinct, and I stood up on that. Crickets, crickets at the time. Uh, now it's gone. Um, there's many, many times where I've stood up for certain things, and yeah, people thought it was weird for it, but then later on it would turn out to be good. Not always, though. And uh, whatever, like, so that's why, like, I, I understand sinners, like, just because I understand something is wrong or I understand something is the right thing to do <clears throat> even though it's not popular or people are scared uh, doesn't mean I should like back off even though there are times where I did back off and then I regretted it um, I'd rather just do the right thing because then I could live with myself <clears throat> so there's probably like tons of other things I can talk about right now, but I did write some notes because I, I'm all over the place. It's because my mind is all over the place and my life is all over the place. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to go to the gym today, finally. I finally got, okay, so I ran out of this. It's like this oil for your hair. It has uh, Moroccan ar argan or ar argan, argan oil, whatever. I've heard it pronounced both in Morocco as argan and argan. Um, and now I got a new one. And I love it. It's awesome. Uh, because my psoriasis is really bad. And um, I'm hoping today is going to be a good day. The weather is... The weather can change every five minutes. In fact, I think it's changed like four times since I've been on here doing this video. Um, don't know if I'm going to the pool today. Don't know if I'm going to try to run my bike today. I don't really know. Every time I'm trying to make some plans here, uh, things change. Although I, I want to say this. Okay, so I'm 36. I'm going to be 37 uh, at the end of the summer. And um, I didn't know this, but going to the gym and just working out and improving your health will really make your sex life or your sex, the, the act of sexual whatever, way better. Way better. Yesterday, oh my goodness, like I hadn't been intimate in like a long time, like a month or something. And I've been through that before, you know. And then uh, 
I was just too painful and I was always worried about like moving my spine out of place or my hip out of place and uh, and I was worried about like my heart rate and my lungs and there's so many things you know because in the middle of doing something I don't want to like you know die or have an asthma attack or an aneurysm or whatever it is so yesterday um wow wow okay so if you need more like wows in your life ladies hit the gym please okay 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes cardio do some stretching do some a little bit of arm free weights and uh start working on the machines and learn how to like learn how to do your reps and your um sets basic circuit training stuff just simple stuff work a certain isolation get the muscles they'll, they'll be sore for about four four to five weeks you can work like upper body one day lower body then another day whatever and then within you know a few months because it's been a few months off and on um hello there hello just saying um <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. In fact, I haven't felt that good since I was like 20 something, which was before I got like all these weird injuries and stuff. So keep that in mind. Wow. Wowie wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, uh, another thing I'm kind of going through recently, but I, I thought it was me. Apparently it's not because I'm noticing in other people around me. I tend to go through things a lot of times before everyone else does. Uh, and then I notice in others because I've just gone through it. It's like this mood thing. Um, I thought like, you know, maybe it's you know my chemistry or my body's healing or my hormonal system or is it the food I'm eating, it, which it could be, those could all be factors. But uh, especially with the shooting thing that just happened, I just seen people's moods just poo all over the place up and down but the weird thing is i've also noticed a, a compassionate side to people recently that everywhere that i just that just wasn't there the last two three years so uh that that was good but um i would go through these times where i would just feel just suddenly really down and it, i just felt painfully sad so i had to take a walk and then i felt better